Scene Script Have you ever wondered how the Earth, our home, came into existence? Imagine a time about four and a half billion years ago. It's a time when the universe was a vast, dark and seemingly endless expanse. Then something extraordinary happened. A massive explosion of energy and matter that we now call the Big Bang. This cataclysmic event marked the beginning of time and space and set in motion the creation of everything we know today. In the blink of an eye, the universe expanded, cooled down, and the first atoms formed, eventually clumping together to form stars and galaxies. Among these countless galaxies, a particular one stood out, the Milky Way, our galactic home. Now, let's zoom in a little further to a tiny corner of this galaxy. Here, around a relatively young star we now call the Sun, a disk of dust and rocks began to swirl. These particles, attracted to each other by the fundamental force of gravity, started to clump together, growing larger and larger. Over millions of years, these clumps of dust and rocks gradually formed into what we now recognize as planets. And among them, in a not-too-hot, not-too-cold region known as the Goldilocks Zone, our Earth began to take shape. This process, known as planetary accretion, wasn't a peaceful one. It was a time of intense heat and unimaginable violence. The young Earth was a molten mess, bombarded continuously by other remnants of the solar system. But eventually, the bombardment ceased. The Earth cooled down, and a thin crust formed on its surface. And so, through this chaotic and violent process, the Earth was formed. It was a barren, inhospitable place initially, far from the blue and green oasis we know today. But it was the first step towards the creation of a planet that could support life. A planet that could become a home to countless species. A planet that could become our home. So from a cloud of dust and rocks, our home, the Earth, was born. What was the Earth like in its early years, you may ask? Well, imagine a world aflame, a fiery ball of molten rock and metal writhing with volcanic activity. This was our planet, Earth, around four and a half billion years ago. In those early days, the Earth was like a newborn star, glowing and hot, its surface a roiling sea of molten lava. This was a world in the throes of its fiery birth, a world of chaos, a world coming into being. The constant volcanic activity spewed gases into the skies, creating the first hints of an atmosphere. As eons passed, the Earth began to cool. The surface hardened, forming a thin, brittle crust over the molten interior. This was the first solid ground, the first land. It was barren and lifeless, but it was the start of something monumental. The Earth's cooling did not stop at the surface. Deeper down, the molten rock began to cool and solidify, creating a thick layer of solid rock beneath the crust. This was the Earth's mantle, a layer that would play a crucial role in shaping the planet's future. But the cooling of the Earth was not an entirely peaceful process. It was punctuated by violent volcanic eruptions which continued to spew gases into the atmosphere. These eruptions also released water vapor, and as the Earth cooled, this vapor condensed to form the first oceans. These oceans were nothing like the blue seas we know today. They were hot, acidic, and teeming with dissolved minerals. But they were also essential for the development of life providing the necessary ingredients and environment for the first simple organisms to emerge. Meanwhile, the atmosphere was taking shape. The volcanic gases combined with the water vapor from the oceans created a dense, steamy blanket of air. This early atmosphere was very different from the one we breathe today, being composed mostly of carbon dioxide, nitrogen and water vapor. From a hot, chaotic mass, the Earth began to transform into a more recognizable planet. A planet with solid ground, oceans and an atmosphere. A planet ready for the next stage of its fascinating journey, the emergence of life. But when did life begin on this barren planet? The story of life on Earth is an epic that spans billions of years. It's a tale of endurance, of adaptation and of the relentless drive to survive. Our planet, 
once a desolate rock, began its journey towards life around three and a half billion years ago. The first characters in this story weren't towering dinosaurs or even tiny insects. They were humble, single-celled organisms, the very first forms of life. These microscopic pioneers, invisible to the naked eye, set the stage for all life to come. For billions of years, these single-celled organisms ruled the Earth, slowly evolving and diversifying. But the real game-changer came about when these single-celled organisms began to band together, forming multicellular life. This was a monumental step in the history of life, a quantum leap from the simple to the complex. Then, around half a billion years ago, during the Cambrian period, life truly began to flourish. This period, often referred to as the Cambrian Explosion, saw a rapid diversification of life forms. From the depths of the oceans, life spread across the planet, colonizing every corner of the Earth. Plants emerged, turning the Earth green and pumping out oxygen, creating an atmosphere hospitable for more complex life forms. Animals followed, evolving into a dizzying array of shapes and sizes, from tiny insects to massive dinosaurs. And eventually, from this rich tapestry of life, humans emerged. We are the latest chapter in this grand story, a testament to billions of years of evolution. The story of life on Earth is a story of resilience and creativity. It's a story of life's ability to adapt and overcome, to transform a barren planet into a vibrant, living world. It's a story that continues to unfold with every new species discovered, every fossil unearthed, and every scientific breakthrough. From single-celled organisms to the diverse life forms we see today, life on Earth has been a long, fascinating journey. Now let's fast forward to the Earth we know today. The Earth's surface has undergone tremendous changes to form the continents and oceans we're familiar with. Imagine a jigsaw puzzle with pieces shifting, colliding and drifting apart over billions of years. That's the fascinating process of plate tectonics, shaping our Earth into seven continents and five vast oceans. But Earth's story isn't just about tectonic plates and water bodies. It's also about the emergence of an intelligent life form, humans. Around two million years ago, the first humans appeared, forever changing the trajectory of our planet. From discovering fire to inventing the wheel, from building pyramids to launching satellites into space, human beings have shown remarkable ingenuity and resilience. As humans evolved, so did societies and civilizations. We began as hunter-gatherers, then learned to farm. We built villages, then cities, and eventually nations. We developed languages, culture, art, and technology. We've come a long way from cave paintings to virtual reality, from stone tools to artificial intelligence. However, this rapid progress hasn't come without a cost. Human activities have significantly impacted our planet, and not always for the better. Deforestation, pollution, overpopulation, and overconsumption have led to environmental degradation. The burning of fossil fuels has resulted in climate change, a global concern that threatens biodiversity and human life. Climate change isn't just about warmer temperatures or melting ice caps. It's about more frequent and severe weather events, rising sea levels, and shifting wildlife populations and habitats. It's about the future of our planet and every life form that calls it home. But here's the thing, Earth is resilient, just like its inhabitants. We've come to recognize the problems we've caused, and we are taking steps to address them. From renewable energy to sustainable farming, from conservation efforts to green technologies, we are striving to balance progress with preservation. The Earth has come a long way from a hot, chaotic mass to the home of diverse life forms. It's a testament to the power of evolution, the tenacity of life, and the ingenuity of humans. And it's up to us to ensure that this beautiful blue planet continues to thrive for generations to come. What does the future hold for our home, the Earth? As we look forward, we see a world that's changing rapidly in ways that challenge our understanding and test our resilience. The future of Earth is, in many ways, a reflection of our actions today. And perhaps more than ever before, those actions carry far-reaching consequences. Climate change, 
driven by human activity, is expected to alter our planet's landscape drastically. Rising sea levels threaten to submerge coastal cities. Unpredictable weather patterns could disrupt agriculture. And biodiversity, the very fabric of life on Earth, is at risk as habitats are destroyed and species go extinct. However, it's not all doom and gloom. We're also witnessing a global shift towards sustainable practices. From renewable energy to zero-waste lifestyles, people all around the world are making conscious choices to reduce their environmental impact. These efforts, though small in isolation, add up to create significant change. Conservation efforts are another beacon of hope. They aim to protect our planet's rich biodiversity and preserve natural habitats. With careful management and a focus on sustainability, we can maintain the delicate balance of ecosystems and ensure the survival of species for generations to come. At the same time, we're reaching out to the stars. The potential for human colonization of other planets is no longer purely the stuff of science fiction. Mars, our neighbor, is being closely studied for its habitability and advances in technology are bringing us closer to the dream of becoming an interplanetary species. Yet, as we dream of distant worlds, we must remember the importance of caring for our own. Earth, our home, is a unique and precious place. It's nurtured life for billions of years, and it's up to us to ensure it continues to do so. The future of Earth is in our hands. It's up to us to ensure it remains a thriving home for generations to come.